Welcome into this Ed's Extra Point. I'm Ed Lane. Braves rookie Evan Gaddis smacks a 400-foot home run Wednesday night and then gradually flips the bat and admires its home run as he trots around the bases in one of those slow, cocky, confident trots. Fair enough, he hit the home run and he deserved the right to celebrate his accomplishments. But then, later in the contest, Marlins rookie pitcher Jose Fernandez also hits a home run at Miami Marlins Park, flips the bat, stares for a couple of seconds into the Atlanta Braves dugout and does a similar cocky trot around the base paths. But Brian McCann takes exception to the rule because it violates an unwritten rule of the game, showing up the other team after hitting a home run. What in the world is going on in baseball? The unwritten rules of the game have to go. It's another progress stunter for a sport that needs everything it can to show some level of advancement beyond its inception and the concepts that came with it over a century ago. Baseball as a sport already is in trouble because it doesn't relate to the modern society. Now you're having issues with unwritten rules of the game that casual fans who already can't grasp the concept of why the game takes so long and why the sport won't make changes to speed up the game can't grasp either. And the unwritten rules of the game are the most ridiculous part to baseball. Why is it okay for Evan Gaddis, a rookie, to flip his bat and cockily trot around the bases, even though the Braves are losing to the Miami Marlins? And I don't want to hear about how better the Braves are this year. If it's that big of a deal, why are you losing to one of the worst teams in baseball, the Miami Marlins? And if you're the Atlanta Braves, why are you taking exception to a rookie pitcher hitting a home run off of you and then showing you up? How in the world did you let a rookie pitcher hit a home run off of you? You're mad at him for showing you up? Shouldn't you be mad at yourself and embarrassed that this guy showed you up after hitting a home run that he shouldn't have hit because he's a rookie pitcher? It's ridiculous. You're so worried about violating the unwritten rules of the game that you fail to look at the scoreboard and realize that Jose Fernandez's home run gave the Miami Marlins, yes, the team that's been in last place in the NLE since the start of the season, a 5-1 lead over the Atlanta Braves, a team that despite having a playoff spot locked up, is stumbling toward the finish line in Major League Baseball's regular season. But instead of worrying about their poor finish, the Braves are worried about violation of the unwritten rules of baseball. Brian McCann has to defend home plate when Hernandez steps on it. The benches must clear, and Braves third baseman Chris Johnson must say, I want a piece of that guy. I want an effing piece of that guy. It's so absurd that you have to protect some stupid unwritten rule that only you and your clubhouse can understand and your diehard fans, which are becoming fewer and fewer because your average Joe can't understand why in the world you have such a stupid, old, archaic system like the unwritten rules of baseball. It's time to get rid of them. It's time for baseball to modernize. And it's time for teams to realize what the Miami Hurricanes used to say in the late 80s and early 90s when opponents would take exception to their touchdown celebrations. If you don't like us celebrating a score, don't let us score on you. That's what the Braves should be worrying about, and baseball should be worrying about making progressive, positive changes. But since it's not happening, we'll continue to watch football blitz baseball in terms of popularity, and unfortunately a game that has great roots but needs adjustments will continue to struggle in its modernization quest. With this Ed's Extra Point, I'm Ed Lane.